Hey, what is up, everybody? I am here to give you the very first ever of the WWE Original Series, Swerved. Um, and uh, this episode is the first ever episode. That's why it's the first ever review. It's called I Thought I Was Dead. Um, and when it comes to this show, um, it's not like a bad show or anything. But if you ask me, I would rather see them put the old stuff on the, on the WWE Network than this. I don't like these. The stuff they do is like pranks that I would probably do in like high school. Um, when I was a freshman, probably. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I don't really. I think the show is pretty funny. I just would rather see the old stuff on the network. Um, I don't, and that's just the problem. When it comes to this sh show, um, I think that they should add different stuff. Um, but this stuff isn't. But this show isn't that bad. I'm just gonna kind of talk about it. There was some funny stuff on this show. Uh, I definitely will continue to watch it because it is kind of it is pretty funny. It's not as funny as I thought it was gonna be. I thought it would be a little bit funnier, but um, it is what it is. So they do this fir first prank where um, it's called the uh, shock stool. And Dolph Ziggler is going to do like a fake interview um, of people given the top 10 WrestleMania moments, most shocking WrestleMania moments. And he um, tricks Zack Ryder first. And Zack Ryder says that his most shocking WrestleMania moment is when he competed at his first WrestleMania in WrestleMania 28. And he gave Dolph Ziggler like a rough rider and... Um, he, uh, his, his ex-girlfriend, Eve Torres, low blowed him. And then he has to say, like, woo, 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 you know it. And then the chair shocks him. And he's like, what the fuck just happened? He doesn't know quite clear what happened. So then he does it again. Same thing happens. Um, so then, um, Ryder realizes it's just all a, you know, a, a trick. It's all a woos. So then he goes to sit in the chair that Dolph Ziggler was sitting in. And the way they do this, too, is they program, like, a remote to do it. Um... And, um, Zack Ryder gets shocked again, um, and he just kind of leaves. I thought that was fine. They definitely should be using Zack Ryder a lot better than shit like this, though. I mean, is this why you really kept Zack Ryder around? Just, wow, to do this? Uh, next, uh, Renee Young is hosting a fake cooking show, which I don't know why they wouldn't put that on the network, because that actually seems like it would be good, a cooking show, you know, fuck, you know, I'd rather see that than this show, actually, not gonna lie, um, but she, they, uh, do this prank where, uh, they, they're making nachos, and they open, like, these, uh, tin lids, and one of the lids has Hornswoggle in it, and he scales them, that's a pretty funny prank, I'll admit, um, it, the thing is, these pranks are funny, but they show them... Night. Good night. They show them over and over and over again, you know? So, um... they She does it to Natalia, Cameron, um... Xavier Woods. Xavier Woods was actually pretty hilarious in this. He, uh... Was, he was actually cooking without a shirt on, which was pretty funny. And then later on, he does a prank where, uh... He, Hornswoggle goes to do it and he dumps, they dump, they dump nacho cheese on him. And Xavier Wade says he's going to get Renee Young later on, which, you know, who knows what's going to happen with that. Then later on, they do this awful prank, which I hate this prank, where they cover the microphone in shit. And, uh, everybody, Darren Young, um, and, uh, the Usos, Jimmy and Jay, The Miz... I think it smells like shit. That prank is shit. So what a coincidence. I hate that prank. It's fucking awful. Um, Cause then people tell him it doesn't smell like shit, and Darren Young's like, "What? Are you? It's just you. It's like, and the person I've never even seen before. Uh, I don't even know who the hell it is. I think her name was like Michelle something. Uh, I don't remember. And then uh, Dolph Ziggler tricks Tom Phillips into electrocuting the chair, which was pretty funny. He, he was pretty funny here. And then they tricked Alex Riley. Um, and uh, Alex Riley's actually pretty smart about it. Alex Riley was pretty funny when he got shocked, too. And then that was pretty much the end of the episode. Um, 
Yeah, I don't. I am. This show is just ick. It's pretty funny. Um, it's just. I'd rather see something else on the network, like the old WWE content. Um, so I don't know. Um, I don't know what I feel like. I'll have to watch the show maybe a little bit more to kind of get a first take on it. But I just rather I I honestly would rather see like the old stuff like the old WCW ECW old WWE content on than this shit. Um, that when Nae Young cooking show looked like it could have potential. Um, when Nae Young was pretty funny on it. When Nae Young was pretty funny in this series too. She every time somebody, um, kind of you know Malco, and it feels like WWE is trying to go with this direction with the Jerry Sprinter stuff. I don't really know what they're doing, but so I'm not really sure. It's like we, it's like it feels like that they should just do something else, put other shit on the network than this. I I don't mind the Jerry Spooner thing, but this is kind of taking it to another level. But other than that, that's pretty much it. You can click here to, down below to subscribe. Maybe it's just me. What do you guys think? Um, should be? Do you think this? Do you, would you? What would you rather see on the network? But that's pretty much it, guys. Um, see you later.